Hello everybody, Slay Magic here. Uh doing another episode and first I've gotta go through all the things I've changed. So I have changed a lot since you've been gone. Not so much uh, good things, but more just boring things that you would prefer hopefully not to watch. So I've got it all written down here. So the first thing is farm animals. It gets pretty intense over here with my uh, low end computer because we have a lot of farm animals and we're going to be working on this I hope the sound isn't too high by the way because I've managed to get it working but it's kind of weird but it's better than nothing uh, yeah these farm animals make it like pretty intense and basically this episode we're going to be making like a glass tunnel for them here look at these frame droppage uh, that leads to here where they have a bit more room as it were if you're wondering how I got those this high, you just like go on top of them and then just plant them and they grow higher. <coughs> and uh, so, uh, alright, so yeah, we're sorting out farm animals this episode. The next thing is, um, thanks to one of my uh, viewers called uh, Tub Tub, he told me that um, the grass is disappearing because the animals are eating it basically, which they are doing at extreme rates with this many so what I've done is I still haven't replaced that block I put grass under there where they can't eat it and now it just spreads and then I also if I can get to it in fact I'm gonna go into uh, creative just for this so I won't do anything wrong. let me get rid of too many items if I can what? why are you not going? there you go oh my god the lag I hope this isn't too loud for you though because I can't even get up because it's that laggy because I've got a rubbish computer. There we go. Alright, so I planted this like fence thing here so that they can't eat any of that grass and that um, spreads pretty quickly. So that's all cool. Uh, for the farm, I have not really done that much but I've done this bit here so like I planted a bit in each bit. Oh, it's hard to explain. Like I've planted some sand in each possible space and just planted sugarcane. Uh, wheat farm. Don't think I've done really much to it. I've just like made it a bit better. Like stone there, wooden planks. Uh, I know you're probably thinking, what is that? But we'll get onto that in a bit. So what we got next? Oh, in fact, we've uh, I've written this down next. So this my grand project is a monster spawner now you may be wondering you spent the whole of last episode doing this well it didn't actually work that well because I was only getting about five enemies at once on that I just need to ch change my uh, render distance it's really laggy and I don't know why there we go alright so basically the way this works and I hope you guys are okay with this I had to download a mod to get monster spawners working so I've got a couple of monster spawners back there that spawn skeletons and then they go all the way up here and then water's there and there's like signposts to keep the water in there's water space water space so they when they like jump they go straight up there's water just there and they uh, and then the water travels stops at one block and then they push them down where they fall here to um, half a heart. Now this one's a skeleton one, so you can see here that one's just uh, fell down. So now if I punch him, oh crap, I've got a creative one. Uh, one sec, guys. And occasionally they do actually die, but it's not such a bad thing to be honest, because it's not like every single one of them die. It's only like a couple but they still can die so it's kind of annoying I guess yeah you just punch these with one hit and yeah they die and you get really fast XP and you may be wondering what that hole is basically it's just a collection point for both of them so the loot comes down here and then you collect it now this one is a month spawner and first off I only had this like thing here but then I had a look on the wiki and these actually drop iron stuff which is pretty cool, we'll see if we can get some from here 
But these actually take two hits, no matter what. I've made it one lower down, they die straight away. And yeah, this is the best way, but it's not such a bad thing just having two hits. It's like. Yeah. Oh, so you see there, we just got an iron shovel. One sec. Once get through the door. God, why am I finding it so hard? There we go. Okay, so you see. That. Oh, maybe we didn't get an iron shovel. What? Or is it still coming? Uh, oh, there it is. I thought we did. So now we've got an iron shovel, which is pretty cool. So you see that these drop good iron things. Uh, I have like three iron helmets. Uh, oh, I don't have one on me at the minute. And like two or three iron bars. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, these guys, they drop bows and enchanted bows with uh, power one. And I have so many. I had to make a separate chest for the bows that I get. It's so insane. They might need to lower the chances of them dropping it because when you've got like this many, it's so easy to get stuff. Like, it's just an easy way of getting iron, you know what I mean? Like, these guys, they, I, if I just waited for about a minute and they were here, I would get about 10 iron bars. So, it's pretty insane. Alright, so enough of that. Uh, let me just level up once more. Uh, so you can see that you get very easy levels. I think I was only like level 8 at the start of this and I've just been like talking through and everything. Um, so that's the way I've got all of these enchantments and oh let me just turn the music down one sec. Uh, what's next? So chess. Alright then. Uh, run. There we go. Okay so chess. I've kind of rearranged them a bit. Uh, so I've got enchanted bows and bows in here, so you can see that these only give off power 1, but they're still okay, and then I've just got some normal bows. They're all from skeletons and stuff. And then, right, basically, these are diamond pickaxes, because what I've done is, I've thought of a new way of getting better tools, because I don't want to be wasting my enchantments on these, because, you know, they, they break easily. Uh, so what I've done is, um, if I get, uh, like, nine stone pickaxes, let me get away, let me, uh, turn down all this crap that's going on. So, if I get, uh, nine stone pickaxes, that, or whatever tool, nine, like, tools, I don't know how to explain it, um, then that equivalents to one, uh, iron tool. And then four iron tool equivalents to a diamond tool. So these pickaxes that you see in here have been like made proper properly. And that's silk touch. If you don't know what silk touch is, basically, say if I hit this leaf here, it drops a leaf. And if I break a stone block somewhere, then it will actually drop a stone block. So the reason I've got a separate diamond pickaxe is because you can't like moderate it, it's not just every so often, it's every single hit you do. So that's why I've got like this separate stone pickaxe here. So yeah, that's it. Um for the oh actually I haven't even gone through many. Uh here are all the enemy drops I've got. There are all the bones, all the rotten flesh, all the arrows. Except for this uh, bow I've got infinity which means I've got infinite arrows, all I need is one arrow in my inventory. Power five and punch two. I'm not too sure what punch two but I kind of guess what power does. Um, here's all my bone meal. I've completed one of the uh, tasks, um, one of the challenges. Gunpowder, string. They're just from getting like mobs from ground. And that's another thing. I've added a bunch of torches everywhere so that monsters don't spawn and they have a higher chance of spawning there. There's just everywhere. I spent about, I think, a stack of, no, not a stack of coal, about. 32 coal I'd say, it was insane, uh, so yeah, uh, that's enemy jobs, here's my iron stuff that I've got so far, Let me put, I've got an iron sword which is pretty cool, um, we're actually going to go and chant that in a minute, and I've got two iron ingots, so that's pretty cool I guess, and tell me in the comments if you're okay with me doing this, uh, like, in, is uh, like exchanging for items or say if you like it but you think it should be harder to get them 
Um, yeah. So, oh, we should actually put this iron shovel away. We don't need it. I'm really hoping these animals aren't too loud. I mean, I'm speaking a bit louder than normal so that you can hear me if they are louder. But yeah. So, yeah, you might notice I've put, like, signs up and stuff. So this is not really junk, but... Uh, so I need to actually... This is something that I cheated in because I looked on the form, which I actually need to talk about in a sec, and he said that there should be a lava bucket in the mining version, but I've got to show you something in a minute. So, yeah, these are all the stuff in here. If you're wondering how I got this wool, basically, I let my dogs loose. I don't know if this was in the last episode, if I told you, but if it's not, then... I'll tell you now, I let my dog loose and they all killed the um, sheep, so, not all of them, but that many, and then, I, and then I just legged it out and ran as far as I could and then got away in time, so yeah, here's just building blocks, so it's stuff to build with, uh, oh right, I made a separate chest for my melon seeds and saplings, now then, another, um, Another mod I've got, I've got a couple of mods, I'll just tell you them all now. Got too many items, which I like won't be using. Uh, spawner GUI, which is that for this uh, mob spawner. Timber and sensible enchanting, I'll tell you what sensible enchanting is in a minute. So timber, basically, when you hit them, when you hit trees, they all fall down in one. But somebody told me in the comments um, that you can actually plant these next to each other, and you can. And um, I never even thought of this, so I was like gonna chop them all down. And I've got you know timber, and this is what happens. Yup. So they all fall down at once and give you insane lag. And I think this is pretty damn awesome if you ask me. It's so much quicker than like having to chop down, chop down every single one. It's just insane, and you get so many like wood, ha so many like logs so quickly. It's so cool. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Um, so you can see from just that, I just got like so much wood. That's how you, how many. That's how that's how I got all that wood basically. So this, I actually had to go into creative mode to knock out a bit of bedrock because I wanted to like put this out here because I think it would look cool. So I hope you're okay with that. Um, and yeah, sensible enchanting basically is if you put your enchantment in here, you can actually repair your thing that you're using. So this would cost 20 uh, like XP points. And if I wanted to enchant this, oh let me take too many items off, I can actually tell him tell this what I want so right the person in the form said that he he finds it um funny how you how many people you have to kill to get to level 50 to enchant so basically <coughs> what he's done is he's made it so it, it's half the xp points so this is a level 23 but it will only cost 11 points if that makes sense um so I'll click on that and what I've got a fire aspect and looting so that's okay but if I didn't like this, I could click on this and then it would give me 8 points back and get rid of the enchantment. And I think it takes off a bit of the durability as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see how much it... So it, this one only costs 3 to repair. Because obviously the not as good as... Like, the worse they are, the less they're going to cost. So that's cool. That's just sensible enchanting. Uh, I probably won't link these in the description, but if you are to like go on Google and just search them, they should come up like easily. Uh, but I'll put what mods I use. I just won't put the links because it'll be a bit like more hassle to do that. If that's okay with you guys. If uh, you guys ask for it though, and I'll send you like a message. Excuse me. Um. So yeah, that's the trees. That's pretty cool. Uh, I should probably actually plant these. That's okay with you guys. I can't even plant them all anyway, so. Okay. Sorry about like rambling on, I just need to tell you about all the new things that I've done in this, so. That's the reason why this starts so long, I guess. Tell me if you like me doing stuff out of episode, because I just like. I just go on this and just with the attention of doing like the tree farm and the uh, farm over there with the wheat and stuff 
and then it just builds on to doing more things and more things and it's kind of annoying because I just I it's like episode like it's basically using up like my episodes so I, these won't be as long but I'm not gonna like I've got to talk about this now I went on the form post earlier to have a look at the challenges and it looks like the person has actually took down the form post which is a shame because it's a really good map and so yeah I don't think you can actually download this map anymore but um yeah so that's kind of a shame but I'm still gonna do a let's play on it it's just that you won't be able to download it for yourself so yeah I was kind of like annoyed and like not annoyed but just a bit like sad I guess that he took it down because it was a good map and he should have kept it because it was going quite good I think so I uh, almost planted all these so yeah if you guys were planning on uh, downloading this map then you'll have to find like a ver like something that uh, is similar or something I don't really know or maybe somebody had downloaded it and gave you a uh, download to it I don't know really because I think I deleted my download for it um, so yeah that's a bit of a shame but <coughs> but uh, yeah it was his choice I guess maybe he didn't have the time to update it and stuff so uh, okay so you can see that like all of these have gone now so it's pretty cool and I just fell in my pool Okay, so I've just finished planted those, planting those. Okay, so what's next? Uh, tree farm. I've just showed you that. Torches. I've already shown you. Spawning items. Oh, actually, that's the point. I need to show you something else. Uh, where did these go? Oh, down here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, just put away my wood and then I'll show you yeah this is all my wood I've got insane amounts of wood and yeah feel free to leave that's what she said comments in the uh, comments below but you know uh, so like later on uh, when I was doing all this I decided to make a cobblestone generator just off screen because it's like quite annoying oh I forgot pickups right let me just uh, spawn one in for now. I won't take any of the oops, wrong thing. I won't take any of the drops, so I'm not like cheating. I just can't be bothered to go back. So basically, how this works is there's lava there, water there comes in, and so it's just like a really nice, quick cobblestone generator. So yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Go back in, I don't want you. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, is there anything else? Nope, so let me just tell you a bit more about the exchanging thing that I've got. Uh, basically, um, I've wrote down here, 9 stone tools equals 1 iron tool, 4 iron tool equals 1 diamond tool. So that means 36 stone tools equals 1 diamond tool. Now I think that's fair enough, to be honest. And I've also got... Um, 27 cobble and 18 sticks equals 3 iron, uh, 12 iron equals 3 diamonds, and 1 coal equals 4 redstone, just in case you want to do anything with redstone. Uh, 108 cobble and 72 sticks equals 3 diamonds, and 1 gunpowder equals 1 slime ball. So, tell me if you like the idea of that, because I'm planning on making a piston farm for melons. Should be quite fun. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, so now we're going to get on with doing this farm thing. This annoying farm. Uh, and I'm actually planning on making... Oh god, now I'm just giving myself ideas. I'm planning on making platforms for the animals. So there'll be like, I don't know, what is there, about five different animals there? There'll be five different platforms all the way up to the sky of like all the farm animals. So I think that'd be pretty cool. And before I get started, I'm actually uh, going to make myself some shears and just start shearing the hell out of all of these. 
So I'm gonna just turn my. In fact, I'll turn it off for now. The uh, sound because. Oh wow, it's still not. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll be okay. Just start shearing the hell out of these guys. I don't know if you know about how I coloured them. I just basically just went over them with the cactus and bone meal and put them together. I can't remember if I mentioned this last episode. It's been a while since the last episode. Sorry about like the upload rates. I can't really do much about it. It's really hard to upload like frequently, I guess, because it's it's like it. My my mum basically needs the internet every day for her business and. Uh, so I can't upload in the day, I have to upload overnight and I don't want to leave my computer on for more than two days straight because it could like break it I guess. So what my thing is, what my routine is, basically um, I render overnight, so i would edit at night time, render overnight and then I would upload overnight the next day and then the next night would be like a time off night kind of thing for my computer so it would um, not have any like uh, it wouldn't be on at night so that's like my routine but sometimes I can't stick to that so that's why these uploads are a bit more varied unfortunately so yeah I've almost shared all these I just thought I should share them all because I think they regrow their wool when uh, they eat the grass so that's pretty cool I wonder if they'll still be green though when they regen there. That'll be interesting to see. Because I've never really done proper farming. Like, I don't even do survival that much on Minecraft. I'm usually on, like, creative. Or, like, super flat trying out stuff. Or doing custom games. I've, I don't really play many, like, I don't really play just normal survival, straight out survival very often. Because, I don't know, I wouldn't mind doing a let's play on it when I've got a better computer though, so, I don't know, that'll be soon today. And now I'm stuck, which is pretty cool. Give me your wool. Oh god, look at them all, so many. I really need to get out of here quick. Okay, cool, I'm out. Oh man, so hard, like, finding and trying to share them because of the lag. Somebody also, it was actually all, um, all the questions I asked last, not last episode, the episode before, basically one of my, uh, I guess I could say loyal viewers, um, told me all of them, and he basically said that, um, he basically answered them all, he told me about the grass, he told me about, um, being able to grow lightwood trees next to each other, he told me a hell of a lot and I just want to thank him in advance because it was really helpful. Um, and he also told me that dogs uh, eat um, eat uh, what are they called? Um, cooked pork chops to grow, um, to repopulate the earth, I guess you could say. To have sex basically. They use, they use um, cooked pork chops to reproduce so I don't know, I'm just trying to throw out stuff. Oh, so annoying. Just let me do it. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Okay, I think I'll call it a day now. I've got most of them. Oh god, they've already like pretty much ate all of it. Like so much of it. No, get back in. No, don't let the chicken out. Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> Come on, chicken. In you go. In you go, chicken. Yay, that actually worked. Um, okay. Alright, so I've actually planned this all out. Um, and I actually backed up my world, created a new one, and uh, actually did it for reals. Hell yeah, for reals. And it worked pretty well, I guess. So I'm actually just going to sort out all of my crap in here. Uh, oh man, I need a new chest for bones. I'm getting so many. Uh, building materials. Can I have this in? 
so many. Uh, let's see, this one needs. Ooh, an egg. Uh, should I keep the eggs? I might make a egg farm. I'm not too sure yet, though. Not on this episode, but oh, I forgot to get rid of this. So I guess. Uh, okay, that's that. Sorry about that. I didn't notice. I still had it on me. Uh, so. If you're wondering why I've got my bows in here, basically it's because um, I wanted all my best bows in here. That one isn't great, but it's not bad. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, God, I've got so much stuff to sort out. Um, just put that in there for now. Can't really be bothered to go into any other chests. Okay, so... This is going to be pretty difficult to do. So I just need to line the outside of this with glass so that like, I can see them if they're walking through kind of thing. Okay, cool. Um, let's go here now. Oh no. Uh. Okay, almost there. Okay, cool. So now I need to do the. Damn it. Misplacing blocks like a boss. Sorry if I'm not talking that much, I'm just like kind of concentrating. Uh, so, sorry, I've just got to knock this one out, I think. No way. Let's just put the fences in first. Crap, they don't go there. Wait, could they go there? No, they shouldn't really go there. I'm just planning it out. Like, I want it to be so the grass like is all around the edges, so they can't eat it. So that means I have to have the fences on here, which unfortunately does get rid of a lot of the area on this place, but it'll be worth it hopefully. I might, I'm still thinking if I should get a, um, Mike, a good one, because, like, I do want a good one, but it's, like, I'm really trying to save up for, um, my computer, but if I'm, could, to get, a, like, a really good mic, it will cost around, like, 60 quid, and I don't know if I want to spend all that money on just, like, a mic, because it's quite a lot. Tell me in the comments if you know any good mics that are like cheapish, like 30 quid, but like a good quality. Because the mic that I was looking at, which is like 60 quid, is uh, the Audio Technica AT2020. I think I've talked about it in one of my episodes. Basically, it's a really good mic, and I don't know, I really want it, but, but like it's really expensive. And I can buy it because I've got quite a lot of money at the minute from seeing it from, from my computer. But I don't know if I should buy it yet because I'd rather have a computer kind of thing. Okay, just put some like guarding, I guess you could say, around here. Why isn't this placing? Oh, like that. Okay, cool. So just do this bit here. Okay, so that should be okay for if I put that there. Yeah, that should be okay. Cool. So, yeah, I've got that sorted out now. That's like a little bunker bit. Uh, now I need to put all of these glass panes on this side. Um, I'm not too sure if I should, like, draw them in by wheat or if I could just, like, let them go as they please kind of thing. Because if I let them go as they please, they might, like, just not go. 
but at least because when I test this out, I actually use wheat, but it was really hard to do. Like they don't really, they're a bit dumb kind of thing. I have to like remove some of the uh, blocks on the original farm. Can I say in advance this is going to be a long episode? I can already tell because I've still got to get all of the animals in and stuff. So yeah, let's hope you like long episodes. I mean, nobody really said that they didn't like them. I guess it kind of pays for not uploading because if I only upload one, one or two a week and they're like half an hour, 40 minutes long, then I guess that's like equivalent of uploading like four a week that are like 15 minutes long. So, yeah, should be okay with that. They've got like a little curtain to go by. If you're wondering how I got these vines, I'll be honest, they actually spawned them in because I think it would look cool if I had them like this. And I kind of had like a little lake kind of thing. Um, I don't know really. Uh, okay, I need to get out of here now, don't I? I'm trying to find a way out of here. I'm stuck. Let me out. Okay, let's do some like ninja. No. Oh, I think I can do ninja. Oh, yes. Ninja style. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so pro. I attacked them from the top. Ow. Okay, I need my pick. Uh, I actually need some food as well. Oh nom 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 nom. I don't really regenerate much, but I guess you do get a lot of them. So, all right then. So, oh damn it, this one. I'll just keep that cobble bit there for now. Okay, so I need to kind of like be quite fast with this. Oh god, it breaks them so quick. I've never really properly enchanted my items, unfortunately. I mean, like, I've played around with it before, but I don't really know what any of them do, kind of thing. Because this one just breaks them instantly. It's like an insta click, and it's like so cool. Okay then, so that one's already off, look. Uh, need to actually go like this, like that. And okay, cool, that's that done. Alright, so let's just get a couple in there with some wheat and take off the tension in that farm. Uh, okay, oh god, now they're all going to be following me. Are they all like fighting for? Okay, if I take this off, they all need to go, kind of thing. That needs to go. It looks like they uh, regen their coloured wool, so that's kind of cool. Okay, cool, so I've got that off now. Uh, let's just get rid of this bit here. And one boy. Oh yeah, that's working great. As long as the cows kind of like come through. And oh man, I'm getting mega lag from here. What the hell? Frame droppage like hell. Doing four frames per second at the minute. That's embarrassing. Yeah, your cow got through. Cool. And welcome to your new paradise. Da -da. Come on, cow. Cows are so stupid. <sighs> farmers is fa being a farmer is a hard job. Come on, 
thing is though, if I walk too fast, they like lose interest kind of thing, so out of like, what the hell? How did you get out? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, flipping hell. How the hell did they get out? What? Do I need to add a bit more like security or something? If I could trust you guys. What the? Oh, it's the vines. Holy shit. There's little idiots, man. I could trust you. <sighs> like an extra guard rail for you beavers. Oh damn it, now I need to do my ninjas over. So you piss. Damn it, get out of my way, cow or whatever you are. Okay, there we go. Can I just say, sorry for like being Marty last uh, episode, it was just because I was annoyed with all like the bad stuff that was happening. don't know really. Yeah, and I'm also actually think, talking about stuff. Um, don't really know what I did there. I also want a Minecraft partner kind of thing, just to do episodes with. And I want somebody that's quite like, like, quite loyal as well, like, want, will want to do them a lot kind of thing. But, you know, it's, uh, I only want, and I also want, I know it's like annoying for most people because a lot of people are from, um, America, but I, I only want people from like Britain, um, because basically it's hard to, if you have American like people, for me anyway, it's hard for me because I live in Britain, so time differences are really like vital. Um, and it can be really hard to get on track with them and stuff like that, so that's the reason, like, and I also want you to be over 14, between 14 and 18 kind of thing, not 18, like 14 and 17 or something, just so I can, like, interact with you a bit more, and, like, we kind of don't look so weird together, I don't know really. Uh, just m private message me on YouTube if you want to do that. I also need a graphics designer, but to be honest, I don't think I'll get one of those this early on in my YouTube career. I should be okay for now. See, and I haven't got a partnership yet, like, um, because the one thing I'm really looking forward to on partnerships is basically thumbnails. Like, I can't wait to be able to do my own thumbnails. It'll be so fun. Because, like... I think when I see, if I see the exact same video, say it's like um, an automatic wheat farm, and like, it's just like a picture of it, um, like with his pickaxe out or something, I probably won't really be that bothered to watch it, but if it's like, if it's like a um, picture of like, a million like wheats, just like scattered around the floor, like, and, it, and the title was like, nine. 90,000 wheats per second or something <laughs> and like there's just like a like wheats everywhere I don't know that's like, it's like I'll probably be more like like drawn in if that happened I don't know really it's just a thing that like I'm really looking forward to doing a lot of people that want partnerships will afford to the money and I am kind of looking forward to the money because it'll be able I'll be able to upgrade all my equipment and stuff and make my videos better quality. But to be honest, I'm not really that bothered about getting money. Like it's a added bonus, yeah, because you can upgrade through your YouTube money and like YouTube can give you quite a lot of money, I guess. Um, so yeah, and also another thing is if you want to um. If you want to watch me live stream, which I do like doing, you go to my, if you go to twitch.tv, um, and then just put in the search box, um, my username, and it should be on there, and I do like tests at, at the moment, but I do, I can do like live streaming, it's just a little bit laggy, but that's pretty much it, but it's quite fun to do, because you can get to talk to me and stuff and ask me questions and stuff so it's pretty cool <clears throat> and yeah that's pretty much it really 
Uh, to be honest, I think I've actually kind of done everything. Oh, that's actually one more thing that um, one of my uh, viewers said to do, Tub Tub. He basically said to get rid of the signs that I've completed. So, make melon farm, make wheat farm, pumpkin farm, cactus farm, I've done. Just, uh, make a pool, make 20 bread, collect 10 ender pearls. I haven't done that yet. Monster spawner, tree farm, and limit. Yep, done that. Collect two stack. Yep, done that. Done that. Uh, almost done that. Like really, almost. I need ocelots, wolves, and um, chickens. Make a structure. I don't really know what he means by that because I can't really make a structure. It's like kind of weird. Make a bed. I can do that now. Grow a giant mushroom. I guess I can do that now. Uh, so where's my, where'd I put, oh here, cool, let's get this one, I don't really see the point of making a bed though, because it's not like you should really sleep, because it's just like night time, all the time basically, because monsters spawn all the time, so it's kind of pointless making a bed, but that's okay, I won't mind, okay then, so, how do you make black wool? Oh yeah, you need squids, don't you? Damn it. Okay. I might be like... Up oh, I should have made like a bit more. Damn it. Um, hello doggies. You know what, let's meet you. Let's meet you now. See, so, yeah, I'm hoping these guys actually move into their new home, because they're kind of... Like that one's just staying still and it's kind of like blocking them all. Let's just help them along. Come on. Come on into the fun house of funness. Oh, they're eating this grass so quickly. Oh well, it's growing at all directions so it should grow a lot, lot faster. Which is good. This kind of looks weird though, this is like piping all the way along, like piping animals through. Uh, okay, what are we going to do? Um, where's the steak? There it is. Okay. Can somebody tell me in the comments if ocelots and wolves uh, like fight each other because they're like dog and cat kind of thing? Because uh, if they do, then I need to put like the ocelots in their own little cage thing. Hello, doggy. and get mating and the cool thing about this is they actually produce your own dog kind of thing so it's a tame dog and I really like that how it's like that damn it dogs getting yes okay then I think I'm gonna end it around here um, got a new doggy, little puppy I know the wolves by the way but you know let's call them dogs um, so yeah, tell me what you think of this episode, tell me if you like it, uh, leave a like and everything, just try and support me as much as you can because it really does help, um, and yeah, subscribe and that, it does help me a lot, uh, and next episode, I think what I'm going to be doing is actually making an automatic, like, um, I don't know really, it's like a uh, chicken farm thing where they drop eggs and then like you keep on doing it until you get like too many eggs kind of thing and then you just throw them all in and then all the chickens hatch and um, and then like they all hatch and um, you are able to like collect them all and uh, then you go in and then you start killing them all which is really nice to do because it's like stress relief I guess and then you kill them all and then Basically, you get lots of chicken and feathers that I don't really need because I've got loads of arrows. <coughs> and I wouldn't be able to make arrows anyway because I need flints. So. Yeah. Oh god, I've got gas. Or whatever it's called. Got the... What do they call it when you like got like a burp in your throat kind of thing? I'm trying to get it out. Oh, it's not coming. Uh, anyway. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna start recording the next episode straight after this because I, I'm in, I'm in the recording mood, I guess. So yeah, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. Tell your friends about me and everything.
That'd be great. If you'd actually did that, I'd actually like cry because I'd be really happy. So I really want to get like a lot more subscribers, so I feel a bit better when I upload this. So I want to basically my my challenge for YouTube is basically to get um, that popular kind of thing. That I'm not like bothered about being popular, but it helps you through YouTube because it makes it so you're not just uploading for the sake of it. Because the thing is, like when I upload, I only get like 40 views, and it's like it's it's nice to get that many views, and it's nice that I've got like loyal viewers and stuff, but it's not really enough to actually get me through YouTube. I want like more um, viewers because then it feels a lot better when you upload them. And my challenge is basically just to get that many viewers that when I upload, it goes up to like 302 viewers and it locks because that means that like a lot of people are watching your videos straight away, which is quite nice to know. And that's just like I'm not bothered about being like famous or popular or anything. I just want to be like a little bit more popular that's all but yeah that's like my challenge kind of thing because I really want partnerships to be able to do thumbnails I don't know why I like love thumbnails so much I just find them so like better than just normal video titles things because if like I reckon if like if I had thumbnails on these videos instead of me just holding a pickaxe like strange survival episode one I reckon I could get a lot more views kind of thing because people are like just automatically like more interested I don't know why but anyway I'm yapping on a lot um I should probably end the video here so yeah please subscribe rate and comment and leave me a question leave me an answer to this question uh let's think of a question what is your favorite animal in minecraft Okay, so that's your question for today. What is your favourite animal in Minecraft? So, my favourite animal is... Not animal, like anything, like a mob. Yeah, that's the right word. Right word. My favourite mob is actually a spider jockey. I just love them. I think they look so cool together, like... And, actually, I'll let you into a little secret. Over that direction, I made this, like, how, like this, um, too high wooden house for mobs to spawn in just so I've got like a practice range kind of thing and a spider jockey actually spawned in there but it couldn't survive because it was too small for it so it kind of failed because it just like died of suffocation and the spider lived hey little sheep halo why do I say halo hello sheep give me your wool come back here yes anyway that's the end of this episode. God, I ramble on at the end, like, up and out. I really just need to... I don't... Can somebody tell me why these guys are all bunching together, like... They don't seem to get away from each other, kind of thing. Like, if I go to this other tree farm... Um, this other farm... Oh, God damn it. If I go to this farm here... If you have a look at them, they're all bunched into this corner, like all of them like they're all against this side I mean before it, I thought it was the um the wolves because they're like they kill them and I thought they were scared of them but like they're not running away from them from here because they'll be on the other side so I don't really know what it is to be honest uh, I'm just trying to think what it could be I don't really know can you tell me in the comments if you know what it is and then that would be good okay so well, yeah See you guys, please rate, comment and subscribe and leave me your answer to the question, what is your favourite mob? Yeah, bye.